Most sinus lift procedures performed today are extremely invasive, increasing the risk of complications, infection, and patient discomfort. The Diva Sinus Lift technology provides an innovative solution that makes the procedure far less invasive and much simpler, therefore significantly reducing the risk of complications, chair time, patient post-op side effects, and recovery period. The Diva Sinus Lift technology is based on a smart implant that enables dental surgeons to perform the entire procedure through the implant itself, while at the same time it remains absolutely sealed against oral flora. Start by using the round bar to indicate the exact location of the implant. Begin drilling with a pilot drill until a depth of one millimeter beneath the sinus floor. It's best to use a drill stopper to achieve the correct depth. Now, insert the special concave osteotum into the drilled space. Gently apply pressure until the first crack of the sinus floor or cortical bone appears. Insert and carefully rotate the Diva device until initial primary stability is achieved. With the attached special driver, unscrew and remove the first valve screw located within the device. The bleeding you observe from the Diva channel indicates the sinus floor fracture. Now attach the connector to the implant and gently rinse the sinus by introducing 1 cc of saline through the connector. Then, detach the connector, attach the ratchet, and carefully rotate the implant by one millimeter. Continue to perform one cc saline rinse followed by one millimeter ratchet rotation several times until a countersink for the Diva device is formed. This gentle procedure elevates the membrane intact without perforation. Next, use the bone syringe to inject bone substitute through the connector. Detach the connector and screw in the second valve screw included in the device kit to achieve absolute sealing. Finally, cap the Diva device with a cover screw. After a 6 to 8 month osseointegration integration period, Remove the cover screw to expose the implant and confirm that the inner valve screw is tight. Then, cap the Diva device with a healing screw. The implant is now ready for permanent prosthetic restoration.